Hey guys, my name is Brandy. You might know me as Babs in the FPV community. I'm a team pilot for Quad Questions, and today we're going to be talking about the new QQ190 Falcon. I'm going to take you through every step that you need to know to get this quad from out of the box and into the sky. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to install the S-Bus receiver as well as the antenna along with the battery straps and the skid plate. From there we're going to set up our radio and OSD, test the arming, and then install our props. Alright, and here's what comes in your box. Once you open her up, you're going to see two sets of props. You also have your TBS Triumph antenna as well as a cable if you're a Spectrum user. You will see your two battery straps that are quad questions as well as the skid plate. Last but not least, your QQ190 Falcon. And we also got some stickers in there for you too. <laughs> so in addition to your quad, you're gonna need a radio, a receiver, and some tools. I have my six-in-one screwdriver and then also electrical tape. All right guys, so today I'm going to be binding the X4RSB receiver with my Tyrannus. Um, there are other options out there for you if you are a Spectrum user. You can also do the DX9, or if you prefer your Tango, we have that as well. Alright, so your first step, you're going to want to take your X4R receiver, you're going to unplug that in. Make sure that your white wire is meeting up with the SB on the card there. So you'll plug it in like that. It'll help you tuck in the wires as well if you flip the receiver around and then wrap it with the electrical tape, that way it doesn't interfere with the quad at all. Then you'll take your antennas, get your wires nice and tucked in there. Okay. So the next step here is you're going to want to make sure your antennas are strapped in. I personally like to use a um, zip tie. So I'm going to feed this through that little gap right there. Make sure you get your zip tie through. Nice and tight. I'm going to strap in here like a little bunny ear. From there you're going to want to take your electrical tape and secure your antenna. To the zip tie. You're going to want to do the other side as well. So just like before, take your zip tie. Make sure it's strapped in there. Get your antenna. tape ready. And tape it to your zip tie. Alright, and our next step is that we're going to want to install the antenna here. And it's super important that you install this first, that way you're not running risk of frying your transmitter. So now that you got it in there, you want to screw it on secure. There it is, nice and tight. And then from there, we are going to install our battery strap. So you're gonna to wanna to take your battery strap, make sure that your Velcro is facing out, and you're gonna feed it through 
this little strap hole down here. All right, and then from there, you're gonna wanna feed your skid plate through, just like that. There's gonna be another slot on the other side. You're gonna to wanna to feed that. And that is your battery strap. There's also another slot for a battery strap with your second strap, and that is to hold any kind of HD camera that you have. All right guys, so now it's time to do the on-screen display setup. So you're just gonna follow it as it prompts you on your screen here. And then next, you're going to want to move your throttle full up and hold it. And then you're going to want to move your throttle fully down and hold it there. You're going to want to move roll right and hold it there. And as well on the left, roll. Then you're going to want to move pitch full up. And pitch down. Make y'all a full right and hold it. And you're going to want to y'all all the way to the left and hold it. Then you're going to want to move the mode to the middle and hold it there. And then all the way down and hold it. And that's how you calibrate. Alright, and next we're going to want to arm our quad, which is going to be taking it from center down to the right y'all. And now your quad is armed. <laughs> So our last step here is we're going to want to install our props. What's easiest for me to remember is having this high end on both props, which are clockwise and counterclockwise, to be rotating inwards, as well as the back rotating center. So you'll put your props on, make sure they're all the way down to the bottom might fit a little tight as well here. If I can get this last one. It's always the last prop. All right, and then from there, we're going to make sure these are nice and tight. is about as tight as I can get them with my hands. From there, you're gonna wanna take your tool. Make sure you're holding your motor at the bottom, securing that. And screw them on.
have it. All right, guys, so this is my video setup of the QQ190 Falcon by Quad Questions. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until then, happy flying to you. I'll see you in the next vid. Ha, ha, ha.